Let's talk about a curveball. All right, so lesson 39, radian measure of angles. Yay. Oh, boy. <laughs> when we measure an angle, what are we measuring? Radians. Degrees. <laughs> We've been doing degrees for ever. Today we get to learn about radians. So oh, boy. Today, a radian is learned about <laughs> Okay, uh, degree, we, you've been measuring angles in degrees for a long time. That's an E, the horrible looking E. What's a radius? Looks like degrees. I'm about to tell you. Oh. Uh, in degrees. How many degrees in a circle? 360. Okay, so all the way around the circle is 360 degrees. All right. Uh, so let's see. If we start here, go all the way around to there, we have traveled 360. The symbol for degrees is a dot. A circle. A little circle up there. Now, uh, I get it. Uh, how, how do you find the circumference of a circle? Pi. Pi times diameter. Or pi. Okay. Pi times the diameter. Or pi 2 radius. Pi r squared. R. No. Uh, pi no. 2 r. Pi 2 r. Okay. Pi times the diameter. The diameter is twice the radius. So 2 pi. Uh, I always learned it as 2 pi r. Yeah, you, that, could, you could say pi 2 r. Uh, that's weird. You know, yeah, it just no. sounds weird for some reason. Yeah, it <clears throat> Okay, so what this is saying is the distance of the distance around the circle is two times pi times the radius. So what mathematical larger nerds than me have have decided? Blood sauce. Wait, why blood sauce? Okay. Why would you use this in like actual life? You never do. Uh, you don't. You use it in fake life. Okay, so let's, <laughs> let's take a circle here. Yes, that's where the radians go. Do you like some more juice? <laughs> oh, no, hey. All right, so we have a circle here. This one? Excuse me. Oh, and this one? Yes, and pretend yes. <laughs> you don't get it. So coming back to S math. Yes, and pretend yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. This is all on YouTube, you know. Or will be. For if we... For whatever the circle is, reason. if this distance is a radius... Let's call it R for a second. If I take the same distance and I travel that far along the edge of the circle, I'm going to get about, it's kind of curves, I can't, I'm not doing it exactly, but it's about that far. This angle, done. <laughs> this, an, this angle, let's see, this distance is a radius. This angle is called, is one radian. Oh. So we can do, if we take this distance again, and we go another bit around, then now we have, now this is two radians. You're making a pizza. A. And if we do take this distance and go around again, Jones we're going to have, uh, this is not quite to scale, my apologies. Uh, if we go that distance again, that's three radians. Have we gotten to half a circle yet? No. No, we haven't. Right. If this is half the circle, what do you suppose this is? Well, this point angle is a radius. Point one four. Point two. Point one four radians. Because how far is it all the way around a circle? Oh, I get it. It's pi. Yes. If all the way around the circle, if all the way around the circle is measured in radians, there's two pi of those. Uh, let's. Let's throw in a 3.14 pi, multiply by that by 2, and what's 2 times? 6.28. 6.28. So half the circle is half the circle is 3.14 radians. So that means if we take the, uh, we do 1, 2, 3, and almost half the circle. How many degrees is one radian? And that's exactly where I was going next. <clears throat> Uh, if all the way around the circle is two pi r, that means that it's that's two pi radians to also go around the circle. So we could say that 360 degrees equals two pi radians. What's the symbol for radians? R. No. R. Trick question. There is there, there isn't is one. Ooh. This is why I have been harping on you guys. When you write down an angle in degrees, put the symbol. Yeah. Yeah, Drew. Well, yeah, because I'm sure Drew's the only one doing that. Oh, and Romana. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, is, is this a true statement? 
Teamwork. No. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. What? Speaking of things immortalized on YouTube. Uh, what, no. So all the way around the circle is 360 degrees, or all the way around the circle is 2 pi radians. It's easier if we... Uh, what, what I want you to learn is this. Let's divide it by 2, and we have pi radians. Sometimes abbreviate radians as RAD equals 180 degrees. That's what I do. This is what you need to burn in your brain. Not literally. Please. So, I mean, like, discard it? Because that's, you know, I burn things when I don't want to. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Keep going. Forge notice. Sponge Bob. You gotta dump it up. If you notice that you burn this in your brain, forge, forge, forge in the fire. Yeah, no, yeah, that too. So, 180 degrees is pi, equals pi radius. So, what this means is that... Uh, all these angles that you have been learning in degrees, we now get to do in radians. Oh boy. Oh, it's like Christmas all over again. Snap. <laughs> uh, here, here's a tip. So this should be on your formula sheet. At least this should be on your formula sheet. Oh, so you call it radians. Radians. Radians? Radians. Yeah. radians. I remember so on your formula sheet, you definitely need what's in the box here. Feel free to put anything else on there that will help you. This is radians? Yes, radiant. Yes, John. For about the sixth time. time. This is Can you come Thank you. I got some yes. How hard to do. Got and it. for a while, because you got your brains are used to working in degrees, what's going to happen is you'll, there'll be a problem in radians, and you'll need to convert that to degrees. Uh, well, the I opposite. Know. I know. What well, the opposite? Can I finish what I started here before I do the opposite? Oh, no. No? I said yeah. Oh, you said, in that case you said yeah with a shake of the head and short of the shoulders. I just felt <laughs> like I was getting mixed messages. Right. All right. When you're, uh, when you're converting radius to degrees, no. let's say, for example, do you just say no? Then you just give up and you drop the class and that's it. Or if you actually want to do the work, you could, uh, let's say let's say we have an angle of five pi over three radians. One of the other things to get used to is that we usually use fractions with pi to deter to talk about a certain number of radians. You'll see why in a second. When you're converting radians to degrees, uh, replace pi with 180 degrees. So five pi over three in radians would be 5 times 180 degrees over 3. What's what's 180 divided by 3? 60. 60 times 5? 300. Nope. 300 degrees. So 5 pi over 3 radians equals 300 degrees. Oh, that's all you do. Yeah, so if you're, if you're given an angle that's in radians, Replace pi with 180 degrees, simplify whatever the fraction is, and that'll tell you how many degrees it is. Is that it? Oh, that's easy. All right, let's, let's run through a couple examples, and they're, they're going to start yeah. just simple. We only have two minutes. Just let you know. All right, I will do I know one, maybe two simple examples then. Oh, no. Great! Oh. They call it pi because it looks like a pi. Sure. No. Right, if we have okay, if we have four times the sine of pi yes. over four plus the sine of negative pi over three. That looks very scary and complicated, doesn't it? But it's yeah. not. Okay. No, is, I because the sine of one eight is zero. Let's see. Pi over four radians is how many degrees? What's, what's one eighty divided by four? Forty. That's right, 45. 45. Uh, so what's the sign of 45 degrees? One over half. Rad two over two. I wasn't looking. Right, so that's this. Multiply that by four, because of the four out front here. Plus, what's pi over what's what's pi over three? What's 180 divided by three? Sixty. Sixty degrees. Negative. Negative. What's the sign of negative sixty degrees? Doug, sign of negative negative 60 degrees. Zero. Well, the sign of 60 degrees is... One half.
Exactly like problems you've already done. Okay, Schmidt, goodbye.